feels unbelievable. Uh, I was pretty nervous up there, but now I'm relieved and it feels amazing. Yeah. Take us through the draft experience. Uh, you've seen a, a teammate of yours go in the first round and, and heard a few other Greyhounds today, and that, now it's uh, your turn. No, it's uh, unbelievable. Uh, Sachs and Eshin got in the first round, and then we got Blake and Colton uh, got both drafted, so it's an unbelievable feeling, and I'm happy for them. And yeah. Talk about your decision to come to North America, play in the, in the CHL, and, and, and what the Greyhounds meant for your development. Uh, the Greyhounds meant, meant a lot for me. Uh, I developed my defensive game a lot uh, under Joe Strella, and then played a lot of hockey, played a lot of games more, and more than Sweden, uh, so it's been great for me. Uh, yeah, obviously I want to thank my family. They, uh, they've done everything for me, they mean the world to me, and uh, yeah, I want to thank my, yeah, my family and then my agent too for helping me, and then all the coaches I've worked with. What about back in in, in Sault Ste. Marie in particular? Are you billets or anyone else that oh, yeah. make, you, make your transition uh, smoothly? No, my billets, Fiore and uh, Lori Junti, they uh, they made me good food and they helped me out a lot. And then Jared McCann, uh, I was billeting with him. Uh, he helped me out a lot too. So thanks to them. He told me. A lot. That it doesn't matter if you're a first-round pick or a seven-round pick. Uh, you just keep got to work hard after, and just the beginning of a new adventure.